Hey guys, Mickey Tech here. Uh, today I'm going to show you iOS 6 Beta 1. Now I've left, left this a few more days than other people have released it. Uh, just so I can play about with it a bit and um, just find out what iOS 6 has got in it. Um, if there's any hidden uh, features in there. Uh, we've got to remember this is Beta 1. So there is probably there's a few little bugs in it. Not many. Uh, but there's a few bugs. Um, and a few bits missing that I know that other people have actually got in their iOS 6 betas. It just seems to be a bit hit and miss. So, what we'll do, um, I'll just go into settings and show you I'm on iOS 6. So we'll go general, about, as you can see there, version iOS uh, 6.0, sorry. So, what we'll do now, I'll just show you a few of the new features. As you can see, straight off, maps and passbook. Now, Passbook, if you saw WWDC, you can put all of your like um, shop cards, like Starbucks cards, and your boarding passes for plane, your plane uh, journeys and things like that, all in here. You've got store cards like Topshop or anything like that. You could put it in your store cards, click on it. If you've got if you've paid for the item, you've got your store card, you can just use your store card just like that, and they scan it, no problem at all. So that's kind of Passbook. That's just... Quite easy out where it's got coupons and things for like Morrison's, Asda, places like that. And maps. Now, 3D maps. Um, as you can see there, this is Sydney Opera House that I've been looking at just because they used it in WWDC just to see what the 3D is all about. Now, I think 3D, once they've improved it slightly, it will be really good. Um, I'm not going to say fantastic because it doesn't interest me really. Uh, 3D maps. If they improve it a bit like Street View, um, so you can go down into it. I think it's something just they need to add something more than just 3D because to be honest, I can't click on a place. I have to kind of like zoom right in, and then I have to follow the road. Obviously, it's a beta at the minute, so it's laggy a little bit. And I have to follow the road round like that. It, it, it's it's not great, Apple. You could have done something a little bit more impressive. Uh, 3D, whoop de doo you know, I don't really care. Um, I think Google Maps and Street View and that was a lot better. So, but as you can see here, I don't know if you can actually. Oh, yes, you can. Um, you've got data from TomTom Tom and others. So, you know, TomTom Tom were involved in this. So hopefully, because you've got um, you've got the navigation here as well, so I could click on the route, and that will take me what direction to take and everything like that. So you've got TomTom Tom that's kind of being integrated, not integ well, sort of integrated into the maps. So that would be really good as well, uh, but it's just a 3D map bit. I don't really understand. Um, also in settings, we now have. Do not disturb. So do not disturb you can turn on and if you look up near the clock left hand side you get a moon. Now this is do not disturb so if I go into notification center do not disturb you've got a schedule. You can schedule it for what time you don't want to be disturbed from and to. So 10 o'clock till 7 o'clock I don't want any notifications I don't want no phone calls no nothing. Um, you can add favorites so you can add contacts that you do want to hear from um, you've got no one at all, or you've got everyone. Um, so if you add your favourites, you can get calls and texts and notifications from them. So, you know, if you've got uh, people that really need to get in touch with you, uh, you think it's important enough to do that for, then that's there. You have repeated calls. Now, if you put this on, if it's an emergency, obviously someone's going to call you back straight away if you don't answer. So if they call back within three minutes, that will come through, that will knock the do not disturb out, and you'll get that, impo that important phone call. So that is a really handy feature. That's do not disturb. Um, now, if we go to the App Store, the interface has changed of this. Uh, they've made it a little bit more impressive. So we'll just let that load up. And as you can see there, it is now white, uh, not the kind of grey blue or whatever it was they had, I forgot already. Um, but, you know, really handy. 
And also, if you click on an app and install it, you can see it loading here and you can come out and carry on doing what you're doing. Instead, in the previous one, you click on it and it will install and it takes you out of the app store. This one doesn't. You click on it, it installs and you can carry on browsing. If we go to featured in the app store, you have this scrolling motion, which is a really nice feature. I know some people don't like it, but I quite like it. Um, I must admit, I like it on the iPad. So they've brought that to the iPhone 4. S and 4 I believe. Um, so we'll come out of that and I'll just show you iTunes. Similar sort of thing. Uh, at the moment this is a beta and I can't get podcasts. Um, some people have that have got a beta but I can't. Um, it seems to be missing because uh, you'd click on more and your podcast and that would be there. I don't have them. Uh, but it's a beta so that will be there eventually. But yeah you've got scrolling and everything like that which is really really nice. Um, I really do like this. I just think it looks it just look, looks a lot nicer for iOS 6, which I haven't been that impressed with. I must admit, I am impressed with this. Uh, I just like the new layout. So that's kind of like the home screen. Um, a few new things, nothing major. Uh, I think the tap to tweet is really good. Um, just click on that. Tap to tweet, that's really good. You know, I will be do another video soon on certain jailbreak things you can get for the iPhone 4, uh, which already have these built in. Um, mail, you now have VIPs. So you can put all your imp important people into your VIP. You can just add their email address so you get no junk mail. That will just be your VIPs. So that's quite handy as well. I like that little feature. Oh, and I will just show you the little animation at the top there. And there we go. Nice little, instead of it being down here where it used to be, I think that is a lot better. You know, that was getting annoying with it down there. So, and photos now. Um, photos hasn't really changed, but when we click on a photo, we click on this, you get the certain applications arrive, like you can post to Twitter, Facebook, signed contact, photo stream, message, mail, print, copy, and user's wallpaper. Uh, because I have forgot to mention, Facebook is now integrated into iOS 6, which is handy for people that have Facebook. Me personally, I don't have it. Um, I did have it a long time ago, and to be honest, there was just too much to keep up with for me. But you never know, Facebook come, could come back to me one day, now it's kind of integrated into iOS. Um, but really, that is it. Um, I will show you Siri. And one little trick Siri does, because I will be doing a separate video on Siri, which will be following this one. So I'll just show you a little new thing with Siri now on iOS 6. Launch BBC iPlayer. And there we go. It now launches applications. So that's a nice little trick that Siri does now. I am happy it does that, but I know that a jailbreak tweak also does that. So I'm glad it's in iOS 6 and I must admit I'm not overjoyed with iOS 6 but it is pretty good. It, I say it's pretty good and I'm not happy, I'm kind of contradicting myself. It's okay. It's not a massive update that I was expecting and I think other people were expecting. Um, but it's impressive on certain degrees like the new in interface of the app stores. Uh, the mail VIP I think is really good. The passbook, I think that could be really handy to certain people. Maps needs working on. Um, Twitter integration and Facebook integration, I think that's good. That should have been there in the first place, the Facebook integration with Twitter, but the whole fallout they had. But no, I'm enjoying it. Siri is the massively improved part of iOS 6. For the UK especially, uh, because the location service is also now working. So that is iOS 6, guys. Um, I'll just show you uh, the music app as well. Obviously, I've got none in there, but that is slightly changed to like the iPad as well. And also, I will show you the camera app, which I forgot. As you can see at the bottom here, it is now black instead of that grey. So I think Apple are trying to make their minds up with what colours to put the banners and things like that. But... It's an okay iOS 6.
but that is pretty much all there is kind of to it but I will be adding um, more videos about iOS 6 to my channel I'll be posting more uh, the next one will be about Siri for iOS 6 so please stay tuned uh, thank you very much for watching guys I know it's been a long video and please thumbs up the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to get my next load of videos and my previous videos. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.